Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater 2018 edition. As I am recording this, it is January 1st, 2018. I've had a lot of people ask, when am I coming back? Well, folks, I am back. And I will be putting these episodes up and doing this um, as I have time. And uh, I appreciate you guys hanging around and watching the videos and, and following up with me on, on when there's going to be more. So this is The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Long ago. In the beautiful kingdom of Hyrule, surrounded by mountains and forests. Legends told of an omnipotent and omniscient golden power that resided in a hidden land. Many people aggressively sought to enter the hidden golden land. They're a little slow on the exposition here. But no one ever returned. One day, evil power began to flow from the Golden Land. So the king commanded seven wise men to seal the gate to the land of the Golden Power. That seal should have remained for all time. Why is one of them kneeling? Maybe he's just really short. But. When these events were obscured by the mists of time and became legend, they played with a Ouija board. Oh, Super Nintendo graphics, how I love thee. A mysterious wizard known as Aghanim came to Hyrule to release the seal. He eliminated the good king of Hyrule. Just skeletonize him right on the throne, man. Through evil magic, he began to make descendants of the seven wise men vanish. One after another. Now for my next trick, I need a volunteer from the audience. And the time of destiny for Princess Zelda is drawing near. So wait, is she one of the descendants of the... I guess she's one of the descendants of the wise men. Okay. Well, cool. So this is a game I never actually beat, uh, because I didn't own a Super Nintendo as a kid. But I had friends that owned it, and um, I remember playing it at their place. So I've played the game, but I've never actually beaten the game. And I know everybody and their mother that has a Let's Play channel has done this game. But you know what? Just for fun, we're going to do it. So here we go. Uh, player select. We're going to be player one. And we're going to register your name. You know what? Normally I would do something really silly. Um, uh, we're just, we're just going to do, uh, do this one. We're just going to, for the channel, as, as the coming back... Oh, oh, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. Retro. Our hero's name. Oh, that's not even correct. I'm missing an R. Retro. Uh, there we go. Retro. That's right. Our hero's name is Retro. Why is he always sleeping? Help me. Please help me. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard, Aghanim, has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aghanim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Wow, what a weird dream. <laughs> Hey, Retro, going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. I don't know why I gave him that voice. <laughs> I've forgotten how he runs. <laughs> I love it. Can't really do anything. I don't have any items or anything right now. Hey, I got a lamp. Of course, I have to leave the house. Okay, 
So I remember I'm supposed to go up this way, and we're gonna go to the castle. And I know there's speedrunners that have done this game, like, stupid fast. I am not a speedrunner. We're just gonna play and see. And I know I have to go this way. And it's gonna come a point before too long where I just have no clue what I'm doing. So, my memory from 20 years ago will only get me so far. That's amazing. Like, I always love how Link can fall just this insane distance and not get hurt in these older games. Oh, Retro, I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus power in the blade. Hold the B button. I love when in the NPCs tell you the button you're supposed to push. Uh, like the character in real life is going to be like, Oh, there's a B button on the sword and that's what I use. Well, then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Retro, you can do it. Save the princess. Zelda is your... Say it! Say it! No! Your what? Short on magic power. You cannot use this item now. Watch your magic meter. Okay. Yay, money! Magic power! Woo! Let there be light. You know, because of the way the sprite is designed, and I think I think it is. I think he's got purple hair. I think Link has, or your character Retro, here. He has purple hair. I, I don't know that there were any other games where he had purple hair. Now that I, you know, I think about it. I don't think there's anything in any of these bushes. Beginning part of the game isn't terribly difficult, because uh, as you can see, we're just kind of wandering through. And I love how <laughs> I love how they're like, "Oh, something's hitting me! Oh, something's hitting me!" But they don't like actually like. There's no, and maybe it was just the programming limitation of the time that you couldn't get a uh, you know AI being what it is, you couldn't get a a real time combat response because you know you hit somebody and there's always this in every game there's a delay in these older games so maybe it was just a programming limitation of the time I don't know I have no idea where I'm going now I just know I'm supposed to go this way After Aghanim took over, everyone began to act strangely. I suppose it's a matter of time before I'm affected too. Oh, just can't go in there. I'm just kind of wandering around. I have no idea which way actually leads to Princess Zelda. I do like how in almost every Zelda game, they have they have things that kind of they call back to um, other Zelda previous Zelda games and previous Zelda uh, tropes. I guess like. You know, the very first Zelda game, you've got the old man in the cave, you know, it's dangerous to go alone, take this, and they hand you a sword. And that's kind of a prevailing theme throughout Zelda games, it's like, you always have somebody who acts as that first mentor to either help you get to, like, your first weapon, or outright gives you your first weapon, very early on. Um... 
And I like that, I like the little continuities like that, to me. Those make, those make, uh, games really enjoyable when you have a series that's, oh, I died. When you have a series that spans over, you know, several generations. And for the record, it is very difficult to play video games and talk at the same time and not completely be horrible at the game. Um, this is actually a lot harder than it looks. I was actually just listening to... I'm a big fan of the Game Grumps. Um, and I was actually just listening to one of their things, and they were talking about how hard it is to... Uh, if you didn't know already from experience, you would think that they were horrible at playing video games because it's very difficult to, to, to divide your attention and come up with something somewhat interesting to say while you're playing the game. Um, and then still be able to play the game semi-decently. Um, it's kind of like its own hard mode. Uh, at least that's how I feel about it. Maybe it's easier for other people. Uh, if it's easy for you, leave a comment in the description and let me know what your secret is. Uh, I guess not in the description. Leave your comment below. Die! And then you have instances where I am, like, legitimately bad at things. I love how he runs. It's so funny. Just the way his feet move. But I guess they're really trying to kind of hammer home in this one that Link is a, a kid. You know, he's not an adult. No other adult runs with their feet like that. So I guess they're trying to, I guess, kind of drive that home for us. This was also another... Oh, I guess I could have just avoided those guys altogether going the long way. This was something that I, I really liked about Super Nintendo games that had this top-down RPG style. Like this, Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger. They were able to utilize stairs and three-dimensional space really, really well, I feel. And, uh, and so you get multi-layers inside of your dungeons. And I always thought that was kind of neat. I got the boomerang! There's a guy over here that's really hard to kill. He's got like a big swinging mace, if I remember right. Yep, this guy. He's really easy if you use your boomerang, but if you just try to outright hit him with your sword, he'll get you. I always find it a little suspicious, though, just just because she's always the last one alive, or whatever, that, like, she's the only one that survives. Retro, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. Uh, hon, he's already dead. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? Not at all, but... We're going to say yes, otherwise she says it all over again. All right, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first, we have to go to the first floor. Let's go! Princess Zelda has joined your party. I know this is a kind of a little bit of a longer episode, but it's our first episode back. Uh, we're going to get out of the castle. We're going to end that episode here. Um... It's good to be back, guys, and I'm going to try to be a little more regular about uploading my content. Um, I have a lot of projects that I do, and trying to kind of balance them all can be very tricky. So if there is some delay between um, what I'm doing and, and when I'm uploading and, and other things, just uh, bear with me. I haven't forgotten about the channel. I haven't forgotten about you lovelies. Um, and uh, be sure to share this with your friends, because I really want to grow this channel, and the best way to do that... 
is to fall off a cliff and die. No, the best way to do that is uh, word of mouth. So if you see this on social media, if you like what I'm doing, show it to your friends, uh, hit the subscribe button, and, and stay tuned because uh, surely eventually I'm going to do an episode people like. <laughs> um, so I love you guys. I appreciate all that you do, and I just want you to know that that I do this because it's fun, but I also do it because there are people out there who, who do enjoy watching these episodes. Um, we're just going to bypass this guy and go up. I love this music, too. It's a, it's a very uh, great sound. It's a great um, ambiance to the game. Somebody made a... Somebody was talking about how, how creepy it is that hearts are kept in jars. Very, uh, very Egyptian. Okay. Oh, I know where I gotta go. Sorry! We gotta go down. There's a secret passage in the throne room that lead. Oh, sorry, it's, it's Zelda. There's a secret passage in the throne room that leads to sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. There's always some old man helping. Which, I mean, good for, good for old men, I guess. But there's just, it's creepy. Old men helping children. That ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. The left! The left! Okay. Uh, you know what? Before we do that, we're going to stop this episode here. So, yay! We're mounting an escape. Uh, next episode, we're going to try to get out of here. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.